Okay, we're supposed to use the definition of a definite integral. The definition to find the area under the curve y equals x cubed from 0 to 1. So here's a picture of that region with uh, five rectangles pictured. And we're using, in this case, right-hand endpoints. So this x value right here is... Well, if there were five rectangles, I divided this region or this uh, segment from zero to one into five equal parts. So each of these is one fifth. So this is point two. And the height of that little rectangle is point two cubed. So the area of that rectangle is point two cubed times point two. So we want to generalize that idea to find the area of n rectangles. Okay, so we're going to, and then we're going to let the number of rectangles approach infinity as we add them together. So if there are n rectangles and we divide them in so that the widths are identical, then each width is 1 over n. If there's 20 rectangles, then each width will be 1 20th. And then we want, we're going to use right hand endpoints to evaluate the height of each rectangle. And the way that you think of this is that the first right-hand endpoint, we start at zero and we add on one width, but each width is one over n. And the second right-hand endpoint is start at zero and add on two of these widths. And that'll take you to right to here. And in general, the Ith right hand endpoint is we start at zero and add on i of these widths. So, in general, uh, the right hand endpoint is i over n. And now, how do you calculate the height of each rectangle? You plug the x of i, the right hand endpoint, into the f function, which in our case is x cubed. So, the height of the first rectangle is 1 over n, the quantity cubed. And the ith height is i over n, the quantity cubed. And now that we have a width and a height for each rectangle, we can calculate the area. Here's the height. There's the width for the first rectangle. And in general, the area of the ith rectangle is i over n. That's the right-hand endpoint cubed times its width. So if I you know, remove parentheses and multiply factors together, there is a formula for the area of the ith rectangle, i cubed over n to the fourth. Now, how do we find the area of all those rectangles added together? Well, we take the sum of n rectangles equals the sum from i equals 1 to n, of, there's a formula for the area of the i rectangle. Uh, and I can move the 1 over n to the 4th in front of the summation symbol because n is just a constant. So I have 1 over n to the 4th times the sum from i equals 1 to n of i cubed. And to actually have infinitely many rectangles taking the limit as n approaches infinity of that expression, see if you can follow the pattern. The whole idea is to replace this with the summation uh, equivalent, which is this, which can be proved by mathematical induction. Your problem actually gave you this formula. So if we algebraically simplify all of this by squaring the n, squaring the binomial, squaring the 2, distribute the n to squared times each term inside the parentheses, and then divide each term by n to the fourth, kind of looks like this. n to the fourth over n to the fourth is 1. 2n cubed over n to the fourth is 2 over n. And n squared over n to the fourth is 1 over n squared. We take the limit as n approaches infinity, these fractions 
approach zero. And there is your answer right there, one fourth times one. And if I go back to board one, this is actually the evaluation using a definite integral. This was actually from zero to one of x cubed, f of x equal to x cubed. Okay, 0.25. Okay, so uh, you might not have gotten to the point where you know how to evaluate this definite integral, but you certainly don't want to have to go through this every time. Uh, so this is all leading up to uh, a theorem about how you evaluate a definite integral like this using the limit of a Riemann sum. Okay, there you go. Hope that helped. Any questions, post a comment.